salvage value cash flows. We begin again with this list of cash flows that are associated with a typical project. So far in this topic, we've looked at the cash flows that make up the initial outlay for a project. We've looked at ongoing or yearly cash flows. And we've looked at one of the terminal cash flows or cash flows that occur after the end of the project, specifically recovery of networking capital. In this module and the next, we'll look at the remaining terminal cash flows. And in this module, we're looking at the salvage value and the tax on any profit or loss from the sale of an asset. Salvage value is the term we give to cash received from the sale of any assets that are used in the project. That is clearly a cash flow and is recorded as such in our NPV analysis. However, we still need to deal with the tax, if any, associated with that sale. And in order to calculate that tax, we need to remind ourselves of the definition of book value. The cost of the asset less accumulated depreciation. The examples that we used in the module on depreciation all involve depreciating the asset down to a book value of zero. But whether or not that's the case, we need to consider what the book value is in determining any tax. The profit or loss from the sale of an asset is equal to the salvage value minus the book value. To calculate the amount of tax, it's equal to the negative of the tax rate times the profit or loss. This means that the tax effect of a profit or loss is opposite in sign to the profit or loss. If we've made a profit, that's normally recorded as a positive number, and therefore we pay tax on that profit, and therefore the tax effect is a negative number, a cash outflow. If we've made a loss, normally represented by a negative number, then the tax effect is a positive number. Because we've made a loss, we get a tax shield. We get to claim that loss as a tax deduction. We pay less tax, and therefore the tax effect is a positive number, an incremental cash inflow, because we're that number of dollars better off by having the loss as a tax deduction. Returning again to Project Alpha, the equipment has a book value of zero and can be sold for $150 at the end of the project. The tax rate is 30%. What are the incremental cash flows from the sale? This shows the incremental cash flows that we got to in the previous module. 1,075 cash outflow in year zero and then $341 for four years and $75 in year five. We've been told that the salvage value is $150 and that's clearly a cash inflow, so that's recorded in year five. We've also been told that the book value is $0, so the profit is $150 minus zero or $150. The tax on the profit is therefore the negative of the tax rate, 30% times $150 or negative $45. That's also a cash flow. Even though some of these numbers are very similar, it's very important to understand the difference between a cash flow and something that is not a cash flow. The salvage value is cash that's received and is therefore a cash flow. The profit, although it happens to be the same number because the book value is zero, the profit is not a cash flow. It's an accounting entry. However, the tax that we pay on the profit is a cash flow and gets recorded. So these are the incremental free cash flows, including the salvage value and including the tax on the profit on the sale of the asset. We'll do a couple more examples with different values for the book value to see how that affects cash flows. Everything is the same in this example, except that the book value is now $100. Maybe tax law imposes some constraints on the amount of depreciation that can be claimed, but for whatever reason, we have a book value of $100 for equipment that is sold for $150. What will be the incremental free cash flows in year five? We still put the salvage value in at the amount of cash received, $150. But this time the profit is $150 minus $100, or $50. 
and the tax on that profit is negative $15 a $15 cash outflow resulting in these incremental free cash flows in this third example once again everything's the same except that we now have a book value of $220 what will be the incremental free cash flows in year 5 again the salvage value of $150 is a cash flow the profit or loss is 150 minus 220 we've made a loss of $70 the tax effect is the negative of the tax rate times the loss which gives us a positive number of $21 because we can claim the $70 loss as a tax deduction we pay $21 less tax than we otherwise would so we have an incremental cash inflow we are $21 better off as a result of the loss